We're Ben and Emily, and we usually live on our narrowboats travelling the UK waterways. Recently, we bought an old ambulance, kitted it out in three weeks, and hit the road for an Italian road trip. Last week, we visited Strasbourg, travelled through the Austrian Alps, and arrived in Italy. Once we'd explored the beautiful town of Sermione, we travelled across to the east coast of Italy. Join us for an impromptu visit to one of Italy's most incredible cities. We are coming at you from Sotto Marina. Oh, We're actually yeah. heading to a little place called Chioggia, which is also known as Little Venice. But we've parked about a half an hour walk away. We found a nice, quiet, safe looking place to leave the van whilst we go out for the day. Hopefully it's all right here. This place is right next to Venice. It's sort of part of a similar sort of area of all the islandy bits. So we're interested to see what it's like. It's supposed to be kind of a hidden gem rather than just going to the very touristy bit of Venice. Who knows, we might end up going to Venice as well, but we're going to go check out Chioggia. Should we go? Let's go. This way. So far, it's looking pretty weird here. <laughs> it's uh, definitely out of season currently. making friends this is a good sign definitely seems like a fishing town there's a lot of <laughs> big old fishing boats i like that the tie yeah they're good mooring pins they've got a chandlery I mean, hard to find a chandlery sometimes. We need switches. You they've actually got those, need They've got those that. fuses. <laughs> it's closed. It's closed, Benny. <laughs> it's almost narrow boaty, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> incredibly quiet here apart from the seagulls <laughs> but it's out of season at the moment so that's why I guess there's hardly anybody about it's, it's mostly seagull yeah when one crows <laughs> or cause it sets all the other ones off it's obviously very beautiful here but there's not the kind of hustle and bustle that might make it feel a bit more alive We thought Chioggia was lovely, but we wanted to experience a more lively place, so we decided we should head to Venice after all. We're going to go and find some food, and then we're going to get the taxi across to the Lido, and then I think we get a bus, and then we're going to get another bu boat, and then I think we get to Venice. <laughs> we could have just driven, what but... What an adventure. We're going to try anyway. I think we're going to try. The boat is every half an hour. We were struggling to find anywhere open for lunch, so we headed back to the van to figure out a plan and get some things. Oh, now we've decided to go to Venice for the day. We are just going to get a few things together, have a cup of tea. I want to take a moment to just talk about BetterHelp, who are this week's paid partner of the video. I think that we probably paint a bit of an idyllic romantic picture of our lives here on YouTube. Whether it's on the boats, gently floating through the canals or travelling through Europe, we want our videos to come across quite positive and uplifting. That's what we want to give to you guys. But you know, there's a lot that happens behind the scenes and it's not always sunshine and roses. We do have ups and downs and we don't usually show the bad points 
you know, the sort of dramatic bits here and there we will show, but we won't show if we're having a really bad day or, you know, struggling with our mental health or something like that. Most of us have had very challenging times in our lives at some point or another. Specifically for me, it's stress and anxiety or just feeling pretty off. Just in general life, things can get a bit too much and having regular therapy sessions has helped us to kind of find tools to help ourselves get through these hard situations and it's just really great having someone that is separate from the situation who can have this like outside view of what's going on in a non-biased way so all you need to do is go to their site you can use our code ben and emily then you just answer a few simple questions and that will help them match you with a therapist who has got years of experience helping people with struggles and issues just like yours or mine it's really very simple and they usually match you with a therapist within 48 hours so you can get going really quickly better help is really great because it's all online or phone based so it doesn't matter where you are what you're doing you can have that access to the therapy sessions whether it's via a video call phone call or messaging next friday is my next session and i don't know where we're going to be yet um because we're not really very good at planning but i know that i can have my therapy session go to betterhelp.com forward slash ben and emily or choose ben and emily at the sign up to get a special discount off your first month's therapy but now let's go to venice <laughs> On a whim. On a ferry. <laughs> I'm going to finish my tea first. We headed back into Chioggia to find something to eat before getting the ferry. This is how they do their sandwiches here. We've got, Benny's got tuna and olive roll. I've got mozzarella, tomato and salad. It's like white bread with no crusts in a roll. I quite like it. It's quite fascinating. <laughs> yeah. And then we've got some focaccia as well. Also, this plate is supposed to look like, like a paper plate, I think, but it's like... <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. What's it remind you of? Like uh, those the jam roly poly? Things. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a lot of filling though, hasn't it? It's just mm. like not very much bread and loads of filling. It's good. What else do you get? Spinach focaccia. 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 <laughs> just in case you. Yeah. I've got like roast veg and mozzarella. It's kind of warm on the outside and cold on the inside. He's got his espresso, Ooh. good and strong. Tiramisu. The hardest thing in the world probably to eat on the road. And now we're gonna go and get the ferry thing to somewhere to hopefully Lupo get somewhere. somewhere. No, the Lido, Lido. To then hopefully get to somewhere else that then we can get another boat to Venice, but we're not really sure what we're doing. I don't know how much it's going to cost either, but apparently this boat runs 24 hours, so we should be able to get back to the van at some point. Okay, here are our day passes. We're going to get two boats and a bus to get us to Venice, in theory. Right, let's go. Oh, exciting! This is our Beautiful ship. Okay, it sounds like an absolute mission that we're going on to get to Venice. We cannot lose these tickets. They've cost us 25 euros each. Where's my one? Have you lost yours already? <laughs>
almost got off again. Like in Strasbourg. Definitely not there. Like in Strasbourg where we just got off at a random stop. I feel like we'd be really lost if we got off here. Though. Where on earth We're like at we? the very, very end of the oh, thin, thin island. Thin every thing, time yeah. So that's where we started. And we're there. And I think we still need to go all the way. Oh my all God. the way. To there maybe? And then where's oh, no, Venice? It's, there. it's there, that's the okay. So that's where we are. Oh, that's, we nearly got off there. So we're on here for like probably another half an hour. <laughs> if that's so far we've got. And then Venice, then Venice is like that. Okay. there. It doesn't say words that I know on it. We're on a bus and we don't know where it's going. And we don't know where sure we're going. Then the bus got on a ferry. At this point we realised we were in it for the long haul. When I saw the route of this part on the map I did wonder how is the bus going to do it? Because there was no road. Oh right, okay. Well I didn't know it was like a car ferry. But if this connects directly to Venice, then I guess that's how all the cars that we've seen on this island get on and off, isn't it? We can finally see Venice. <laughs> Not sure how long this has actually taken us to get here. And so we've just got one more ferry and then we'll be there. We kind of just got off at a random stop though, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, here we are in Venice. We're here. It's We've taken it. us about two hours, we think, yeah. to get here on a whim, but we've done it. We don't really know where we are in Venice. We just randomly got off that boat. So we're just going to have an explore. We're really glad that we made the effort. And I think actually it's a, uh, really special way to arrive in Venice and we got to see some amazing sights didn't we that we wouldn't have seen if we'd driven from the other side Needed a refreshment big time. The 
What instantly strikes me about Venice is that it seems to smell pretty good and it's kind of like a canal boater's paradise city. If a, if a boater could design a city, would it not be like this? You can dock your boat wherever you like, hop out and go to the bar. There's no cars, that's what I like. No cars, just boats. What do you think guys, isn't that great? See? He can moor wherever he wants. I don't know about you, but Rambler would fit in a treat here. Could picture it now. That was like the uh, boy racer of the canals. A few of those in England as well. Time to put the chicken waistcoat on. <sighs> Never seen anyone put a waistcoat on like that before. When in Venice. We are in Venice. Wear your chicken waistcoat. Five chickens strong. <laughs> I think I might need the, the large. Have you got a large? Right, we now have sunglasses and a hat. Quick update for you there. That's not straight. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but definitely are. Even by my stomach. So we're currently after pizza, aren't we? Yeah. We're on a pizza mission. Yeah. I've heard about this great place. Found the Venice Pals. <laughs> so we're gonna keep marching through and find it. speechless. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. Yeah, it's fascinating. Um, Not banana. We could get a small one. We walked a few of the many maze-like streets, past artisan shops selling Venetian slippers, masks and other handmade treasures. It soon went dark and Venice took on another type of beauty with the lights glittering in the water and the moon in the sky. Is this where we're going then? This is where we're going. Let's go then. It wasn't where we're going, but now that I've seen it, it's where we're going. Okay. So what did you get? Well, it's a white pizza. I think it's got brie on it. It looks, or some kind of like brie kind of soft cheese. It looks plain, but it looks like it probably tastes amazing. Oh, look at the dough. It's just, it's just amazing. And I've got feta, rocket, tomato, and again, it's another white pizza.
gone a bit dark. So I think we're going to try and start making our way back to the van now because it's a two hour random trip back and we don't really know where we're going, do we? We don't know we what, don't. where we're getting the ferry from or anything. Yeah, it's um, quite a way, so we should probably think about how yeah. we're going to do that. I think we could spend days and days here, as you can imagine. There's so, so much to see. We've only eaten one pizza here. We've only had one beer, you know. <laughs> we've got a canolo to eat later. And we actually, more pizza. We've actually got some more pizza to eat in a bit as well. So we're going to try to find where to get the ferry from. Should we do this? Yeah. Okay, it. but it's been an amazing impromptu visit to Venice. We really didn't mean to come here, did we? No, this was not but the plan. What a way to yeah to travel to and from it. Yeah, right. it was it was so cool because we had been thinking about coming here, but we were going to drive the sort of normal way and stop. Sort of obviously you can't get on here with the with the van, but get a campsite kind of near Venice and then get the train or whatever across. But that's been a really special way to get over here. So highly recommend go to Chioggia, then decide to go to Venice. Sit down and then run and I sit down. <laughs> Rooms. You tired? Wow. My legs. I think we've been on it for about 12 hours, haven't we? Yeah. We realised that oh. it took us two hours to get to Venice, two hours to get back, and we only spent two hours there. Maybe a little bit more than two hours, but not much more. But the trip there was definitely part of it. Yeah. Anyway, we will catch you in the morning and we'll give you a debrief on Venice and what we thought. But right now we're gonna have a cup of tea. We've put the diesel heater on. We're gonna pull the bed out and we are gonna go to sleep. Tired. She's on, she's in, she's out. Good morning everyone. Oh, Good morning. What a day we had. What an amazing nope. It was place. a big day. Didn't really... I'm pretty glad we decided to go. Yeah, definitely. It wasn't that it didn't go as planned, but obviously we were just supposed to be going to Chioggia, but mm. um, yeah, I realized that I'd been pronouncing it wrong all day. So it's Chioggia, not Chioggia. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, what? well, it was just a bit dead, wasn't it? It just felt a little bit too quiet in Chioggia. Yeah, Ki Not Chioggia much of a vibe. Is, Chioggia's really quiet. It's only, a, it's only a couple of streets, really. And then when we went to Venice, that was just mind-blowing because Venice is about a thousand streets. But it was the getting there that yeah. I found really special. We, we were just excited about taking the ferry because we like boats. But if we, you didn't know. But we didn't realise it was going to be that long. <laughs> Two we, hours why, <clears throat> each way. Wiser it would have been to get up at eight and go straight to the ferry and get there. And yeah. then we'd have had all, all day. day. But we had but, no idea. We thought we were just going to go yeah. to like a little town, have a few yeah. hours and then head off. We got a taste of it in Kyogia. Yeah. And then, and then we were like, oh no, we need <clears> more. <throat> we need more. Let's go to Venice. Yeah. And whew. Glad we did. Yeah, you'd not been before, had you? No. And I think when when you're that close, well, when we thought we were that close, 
you ha you have to do it really if yeah mm. and it i think it would have been all right if if there were some more like restaurants and like nice cafes and stuff open but we found that one place where we had the sandwiches that was open yeah there really wasn't much it just wasn't happening it wasn't a happening place for us so yeah in Chioggia. yeah oh it was happening in blooming venice, yeah, venice crikey was however obviously by the time we got to venice we <laughs> It was getting on a bit. I think it was about half four by the time we actually arrived. But that the way that we arrived was just incredible yeah. because you saw like the really tall old buildings approaching yeah. in the misty way and it and it was just like yeah, was, what is this place? It it's was like, like hazy. It's like wasn't nothing it, else. Yeah. I think it's like that's what's good about arriving in a city or a town in a canal boat is you get to see yeah. it from a different angle Definitely, than yeah. coming in a car on a motorway. But with Venice, it was like you could see it all coming from the boat and yeah. you could see all the boats flying everywhere and the buildings right on the edge of the water and it was just instant magic for me. So if you want a bit of a weird day out, go that route because yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's... I think you can get onto the small island and get a ferry just straight, get the short bit of the ferry from mm. there. Yeah, but I'm sure did, there's loads of boats. Long, I think we did yeah. like the whole... We did the, the whole trip. way. But, but there's loads so of boat cool. trips. There's like loads of boat trips that you can go on. Gotcha. So, you know, you can see Venice from the water, obviously, that you can do that. It wasn't what I expected, though, at all. I think it had been sold to me in a completely different light. Um, Smelly but, and busy and dirty. Yeah, and just too but full of tourists. But And obviously we're sort of tourists anyway, but it wasn't. It was just so cool and there was a real interesting array of people there like it seemed like there was students mm. residents musicians yeah the tourists old people young people you know it was it was, it was, it was like vibrant with yeah every proper. every type of person obviously when you go to like the big streets it, it was, was packed busy, yeah. like the bridges were peeving yeah. and i did think my gosh in july that's going to be horrible but the key is don't go yeah, in July. Yeah, we have realised that this is a very, very good time of the year to come to Italy. March, maybe even April, because it's not super hot, it's not cold. Yeah, there's been some chilly nights, but it's fine. And just how quiet it is. When I went to Venice before, I didn't even like it. That's why one of the reasons I was like, oh, it's all right. We, you know, if you want to go, we can go, but it's not all that I was quite disappointed the first time I went this time totally changed my mind absolutely loved it when I went before you could hardly move down the streets you couldn't really see stuff properly because it was just so packed so but I, I, highly recommend March again because we came in on a ferry it inserted us into a part of yeah. the city that you would never Quieter, start in sure, so yeah. it was <laughs> like like that bar that I went in straight away yeah it was just like a side street bar it, was, it cool. was super cool and I, I kept seeing places like that like oh yeah. my gosh where's that so i guess it was a bit of a shame that we only had two hours in venice i know most people have 24 hours in venice or two days in venice or something but we had two hours because we didn't know where to get the ferry from to get back so we had to sort of just start getting going it was dark yeah. and then it was a half an hour walk back to the van after we got off the ferry. So two hours in Venice, definitely not long enough, but it was a great little yeah, it weird was, dip it into the enough, city. Yeah, it was long enough to get an impression of it yeah. and to know that I want to go back. Benny wants to move that. Time there. Um, yeah, I want to find to see if there's any little bars that I can play a gig in there. He wants to become a flautist and... Is that the word for pl a flute player? Yeah, just become a professional flautist. Give, mis give myself 15 years. And then we're moving Move to, Venice to Venice on Rambler. Can you imagine? But at least I got a hat. Oh, yeah, you got a nice hat. I can hat. embody yeah. the spirit yeah. of Venice with my, hat, with my new hat. Which I thought was pretty good. It's, it's wool. It's made in Italy. Suits you. I've got some sunglasses. Expensive. But, yeah, we're rambling on about Venice. I think the thing is, when we go somewhere, we usually spend an entire day there. And to go to somewhere so big and only spend two hours, it's kind of like we feel like we need to kind of explain why. The reason we haven't gone back in today is because those tickets cost 25 euros each and they only last for 24 hours. So unless we'd got up at like the crack of dawn and gone in, it wouldn't have been enough time again to like be able to 
have a decent look round and come back and we couldn't really afford another two tickets that would have been a lot of money and we've got to press on we've got much more to see and do we, we have, cannot linger even though we're away for so long like nearly four weeks there's so much driving in between like we're now going to go down south and it's about at least a seven hour drive to the next place <laughs> so anyway that's the reason we're not going back in today however we are now driving south we are going to a wonderful place called Matera. You may have heard of it. It is beautiful. I cannot wait to go. But we should stop off on the way. Yeah. Maybe we'll that's to too off. long a drive yeah. in one go. Yeah, I think so. So anyway, we're going to hit the road. We will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks, guys. Sorry if it was a bit of a weird little tiny trip into Venice. Our next trip in Matera, we'll, we'll be probably there for the whole day, I imagine. So yeah, see you next week. Until next time. Bye bye. bye. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next steps in our journeying, especially seeing us next week as an episode of Caves. I find a hidden beach inside of a cave by the sea, and we head to another place of caves called Matera as we arrive in Puglia in the south of Italy. See you next week, bye!